The Chicago Bears signed an absolute ball hawk to bolster this defense, and it's usually not a great sign, you know, when teams are fortifying depths at a p- depth at a position and they have a player injured at that same position. So we've got TJ Edwards limited in camp. This should prick our ears up a little bit. And the Bears have now signed linebacker Javin White, a player they had in the past, but they didn't bring him back following a catastrophic knee injury. White was a UFL linebacker who had spent time with the Raiders and the Jets in the past. So we're looking at Javin White playing his college football at UNLV. And I'm going to open this story on SI.com all about this player. You guys check out his profile in its entirety. So he played his college football at UNLV. He just thrived as a ball hawk. He made an impact at multiple levels on the field. He finished his collegiate career with 199 tackles, three and a half sacks, and nine interceptions. He just dominated from start to finish in college. And kind of things came together in his senior season. That was very impressive. He posted 79 tackles in 2019, one and a half sacks, and three interceptions. That got him some NFL interest. And I would say from like the high school to college to the pros, he's transitioned from being a really tall wide receiver to an oversized safety and now to where he is now an undersized linebacker. So, I mean, he's 6'2". He plays at about 215 pounds. And so far, Looking at about three NFL seasons, he scarcely played a competitive down. But the thing is with this guy, he's the ultimate tweener. That could actually be a good thing for the Bears. He could provide depth at linebacker, possibly depth at strong safety, a good special teams player. So it's pretty nice to grab these Swiss Army Knife kind of guys, especially for Chicago, where they have prized the word versatility seemingly above all else. And it's important to remember as well as fans, he was still essentially learning to play defense throughout his college years. Still very raw, but there's an athletic ability on display here. As a long-term project, he might actually offer some really nice upside for this team. So White had 38 tackles, two sacks for the Michigan Panthers in the UFL this last season. Absolutely outstanding college career for UNLV. Nine interceptions, like I said. He had a nose for the ball. Pretty nice in coverage. A bit undersized once again. But he's joining the competition in camp starting out at linebacker at the outset. So there's really been no real negative long-term reports on the health of veteran TJ Edwards. I mean, I'm a nervous Nelly maybe, but um, there's been no indication given by coach Flus, but the veteran starter, he's suffering from an injury and it's limiting his participation, um, fortifying this roster spot at the same time as there is an injury at a key person at linebacker. I mean, that's just not a great sign. So let's keep a close close watch on this, on camp reps, see if this injury to Edwards is in fact minor. I mean, pads are not on yet, so TJ isn't really missing huge significant action. But um, I want to read straight from the report, and this is from Courtney Cronin on ESPN, and she is so reliable. Edwards will be limited for the start of training camp, but isn't dealing with a significant injury, but I'm still nervous. Head coach Matt Eberflus, he indicated that Edwards' issue is nothing major, said that the linebacker is close to getting back to full speed. Sean Hammett of Shaw Local reports, Shaw Local reports, Shaw Local, excuse me, why can't I talk? He reports that Edwards' injury is a carryover from OTAs and minicamp, and I'm just reading directly from the report. And you guys, if we think about Edwards, he made an immediate impact since the second he arrived in Chicago. That was expected. He signed a three-year $19.5 million contract during the 2023 offseason. And this contract is already looking like an absolute bargain. So all he did in response to that (laughs) contract, he led the team in total tackles with 155, solo tackles of 91, fumble recoveries two. He also tied for second most interceptions at three, fourth most pass deflections at seven, and third most tackles for a loss at eight. That's a lot of really good stats. And um, I would say two on the injury front as well. Let's get fully up to date. Head coach Flus, he said the injury that landed tight end Gerald Everett on the non-football injury list wasn't a big deal at the time. 
Sunday, the Bears removed him from the list, so it wasn't a big deal. So maybe we can breathe a sigh of relief on this TJ Edwards injury. Maybe Coach Flus always tells the truth on these things. I doubt it. But he's due back at practice today. That leaves only rookie offensive lineman Amagaje. He's on the NFI list sideline with an injury. So, so the Bears are in really good shape injury-wise. Romo Dunze was absent from practice, but that was for missing for a funeral, not injury-related. He's right back in there. So let's kind of get back to White. The Bears signed linebacker Javin White. He's 6'2", 211, plays at like 215. He originally entered the league as an undrafted free agent by the Raiders, and this is back in 2020. He played four games with them that season, two games for the Jets in 2021. August 2022, he signed with the Bears for the first time, but he ended up getting waived. It, it was an injury designation about a week later. He, he injured his knee, I believe, playing against the Chiefs. You can fact check me on that. My memory isn't perfect. But then his most recent action is once again for the Michigan Panthers of the USFL. So we're looking back in the 2022 preseason. The Bears had White on the roster for only 10 days. Severe injury. Yes, this does check out. Kansas City Chiefs ended his season, tried to make a comeback in the UFL. In the NFL, White is in general. He has only played six games, five with the Raiders in 2020, one with the Jets in 21, four tackles. So the Bears situation at linebacker. They have Amen O. I always mess up the last name. I'm just going to say O. <laughs> Lined up with Jack Sanborn, Tremaine Edwards. That's in their base defense, and that was shown most notably at Sunday's practice with Edwards out. So let's kind of see what's up here. Spring leagues like the UFL, they can bring some talent to the NFL. I mean, the Bears have a most recent example. If you remember DeMarquise Gates a couple years ago, he ended up being a de reliable defensive backup, a special teamer that we could count on. And White, he was just an intriguing prospect at UNLV. Like I said, but this Bear is going through again. He started as a defensive back. After being a receiver in high school, he moved to linebacker his senior year, and it just got him behind a bit. And I'm not sure if he's fully ever caught up when undrafted undrafted free agent with Vegas bounced around for a couple of years on the Raiders roster, had a cup of coffee with the jets comes to bears camp here for the second time after a stint in the UFL. So coming into getting signed for the UFL, he was considered quite a signing for Michigan. He also, once again, he fits the team mantra. In my opinion, Javin white, he can play multiple positions, featured both as a defensive back and as a linebacker throughout his throughout his career. And the Michigan Panthers, they had a ton of holes to fill at the linebacker position. So we ended up seeing most of his time there. He also primarily played at the will or in the nickel spot as a defensive back. Um, he kind of bounced around. He was very useful for them. He had a big show out in the championship game that Michigan lost and kind of the most troubling thing about this whole thing and this is what i'm worried about i think white is a nice player he's a nice depth piece but um just the fact that this might be telegraphing a more serious injury um i don't think white i don't want to overplay this he's not really a direct threat to unseat anyone sorry i was distracted my dog got into something <laughs> it's always something so we're looking at starters tj edwards sandboard and Edmonds all set I'm also going to be watching Noel Sewell, uh, specifically at camp. He was drafted in the fifth round last year. I think he has some promise. I think we can see if he can put it together finally. He's going to make the roster most likely. There's also the presence of Amen. There's Micah Baskerville. But there's some good special teams experience from his time in Vegas. And, hey, the Bears have made it clear that this is a team that's always in competition. No one's roster spot is safe. White, I think, is a pretty nice guy in coverage to have. Um, his experience at defensive back and with the injury to Edwards, the opportunity to show what he can do, it's definitely going to be there. So I appreciate you guys kind of sticking with me during these dog days of summer um, as camp is getting underway. It's really difficult to stay engaged, and I am glad the true fans are here watching. And, um, hey, 
If you have any questions, any player that you would like to see profiled, leave it in the comments. We are bursting forward towards 10,000 subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed yet, would really love having you a part of our family here. Hey, bear down friends, and I will talk to you soon. Enjoy training camp. See ya.